It wasn't finished, but we're not done. Well, now there's a war to be won. We never died, not even once. Welcome to the resurgence. Hello there and welcome to the Resurgence Cup. I'm going to be uploading this first on YouTube because I know this is the marquee draw. This is the lower bracket, the mayhem, the chaos, the squid games of team games. That's right, we're taking some of the best 1v1 players in the world and we're making them play a 4v4 against one another. I have taken the spoilers out of the second and third round of the brackets, so this is a first round spoiler, but here are the brackets, and here are the original first 16 players, and everybody that lost their first life in elite level 1v1 mega combat is now in the round of 16 losers 4v4 showdown. We've got Team Treads and Team Latouf. They each chose a participant to join them in sequence so it's like if tightrope did you play um association football when you were doing physical education at school as a child i don't know what's association football soccer did you play soccer football i don't know what you call it yeah I, I, yeah i played it okay and did you have like the two popular guys they stand at the front and they pick people turn by turn no the, okay, the teacher just chose. But in many countries, we had this phenomenon where where two people separate and they pick their team one by one. That is how we arrived at these 4v4 teams. And that's right, I can see people saying it in chat. You, you bring up so much childhood trauma. Steel rat, people <laughs> recognize this. It's, it's not. <laughs> but that's how we arrived at these teams. And that is how we arrived... Uh, that's right. Oh wow! Uh, let's get the let's get the replay started. That's how we arrived at this game, because we do have a game on our hands, and it's a very very exciting one. Let's get the um, the fog of war unveiled for everybody in one second. I've got tightrope with me, and we are counting mm -hmm. down from three, two, one, play. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Tightrope, are you with me? I am, and I'm ready. And the new oh. steps too. Steps too, baby. And what are our teams today, Tightrope? Well, on the Allied side, we've got Ares with US forces, Daniel with the Brits, Momo with the Brits, and Treads with the US forces. Then on the Axis side, we've got Dexon with Africa Corps, Jibba Jabba Job with Africa Corps, Latouf with Wehrmacht and Prabuti also with Wehrmacht so an even split of every single faction wow it's going to be tough to call the action I put a little infographic up on the top left of the screen just to help out but we've got a lot to go through and these players are in last chance saloon they've been thrown together and this is how they survive this $4,000 prize pool relic funded tournament they have to win a best of three 4v4 <laughs> what, a, what a way. Score is, of course, right. nil-nil. We've got Team Treads versus Team Latouf. What do you see so far, Tightrope? Well, rush to the central fuel, as often happens, but it looks like the Allies are going to take control there. This is Latouf's Coastals. He's an orange player. He's up against Daniel D's Brits here. The Brits, if you're wondering, have seen a lot of use this tournament, roughly 50-50 with USF. So um, that's good. A little dingo from Daniel D as well. In the south, it's the red player. That's Jibber. He's up against the blue player going armor with those assault engineers. It's Treads. He's the team captain. Yeah, three ultralights on the Axis side, so they might tail off later on. I have to keep an eye out and see what the dingo can do against them. <laughs> I also get um, random alliteration whenever I talk about the dingo. It's, uh, it's always fun to see what the dingo will do. 
Doesn't it say like, does it say ding ding as well? <laughs> when the ding ding tingly dude, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing. But, uh, when the dingo does with its ding ding, the dingo didgeridoos. Come on, <laughs> they could have got me to voice act. I would have been, I would have been free as well. <laughs> Right then. This is steps, is it? It's bloody sandy. What's happened to it? Well, early anti tank raids shuts down their 250 flamer in the north. Oh, nice. Oh, yep. the grenade. Oh, but the flamethrower, it's still going, Tightrope. It gets the wipe there. That was Ares, the team captain, losing out to Dexen. Dexen's having a great day. He throws the grenade on, but it's not going to work. Ah, but he does get the nade off. <laughs> and he gets the MG back. So close. Dexen's got to be fuming. Meanwhile, in the center, let's go check out these battles. Wow, Steps is always so violent in the center. It's going to be more so now it's got uh, a victory point there as well. Look at this. It's basically a three on three right in the middle here. It's carnage. Absolute carnage. Momo's fighting for his life to keep his MG. He's up against it. Somebody got a sniper, did I just hear? Someone thinks they have. Right, in the north, it seems like Dexon's been able to win that battle. He's up against paratroopers now. Doesn't look like they're teching anything quite yet. It kind of reminds me of the old Soviets used to be quite strong in the north of Steps with their clown car. Now it's Africa Corps. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, you've just unlocked some core cool memories, Tightrope. And of course, the Wehrmacht always just used to go fuel, fuel, fuel. You get pinged 17 times every time you start a game <laughs> of steps. <laughs> oh, I, I do not miss those Co2 pings. Those circles that are probably about 20 meters big. And then the uh, the noise is generated. Ah, we've had a good mine. Uh, sorry, you've got bazookas coming in from Treads. A lot of suppression down as well. Can he kill, kill the 250? Meanwhile, there is a sniper, by the way. The sniper yeah, is Prabuti. for Prabuti, yeah, the Polish guy. Oh, Bazooka's chasing this 250 down the bottom, but they can't get it. They retreat. Wow. Oh, and they hit a mine on retreat. That's the Panzer Pioneers for you. They're devilish. They do have a surprising amount of DPS at long range. Okay, Polston from Momo. has gone from the heavy mortar. Ooh, squad wipe against the tooth there. That's not good. Good for morale. Daniel D here with Momo. They have teamed up together in the past. They're getting a good wipe themselves. That was on Prabuti's army. He's been pushed away quite a lot. His army size is looking very small. Oh, it's double Olsen. Double pulsing cannons. Great work. Pure day reliably informs me, informs me those trucks are called pheasants. It's an easy way to say it, isn't it? I like it. The pheasant has upgraded a pulsing. I think we could make that a community staple. Tightrope, what do you say? Yeah, okay. Good <laughs> shout from Dane. Oh, there goes the pulsing. Yep. Indeed, it's down now. How many times did Dane indeed you, Tightrope? He indeed did me a. a it's a fantastic 1,732 <laughs> times. You must be saying a lot of good things then. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's awesome if that's the case. It's a, it's a good thing. Ooh, big shot from the pack. And the 250 pushing in, but the dingo gets away. Looks like Axis have re Go on, sorry. Taking the north, I was going to say. And I see the Axis have kept the south. But if my old step memory serves me well, Axis with South, you're going to get punched in the mouth. That means they're going to tax. That's definitely a thing. But it's, you've let them have South. This is a noob error. Noob teammates, I'm, I'm rage quitting. Slash L. There we go. Seven minutes. That's about right. There's no water down here for negative cover, though, anymore, so... 
bit easy to push in. Let's go through some of these. Um, we've got Momo with Indian Artillery Battle Group. We've got Jibber, who's yet to choose. We've got Treads with Armoured Battle Group. Dexam with Armoured Support. Ares with Airborne. Latouf with Italian Coastal. Daniel D with Air and C. That rhymes, that's nice. Uh, Pravity with Mechanized. And I think that's everybody. There you go. Sorry, it was out of s sequence, but I couldn't control that. Airborne with the Bazookas. They are, have pushed right up north, and they've taken the cut off as well. Yeah, Dixon has gone for both combat half tracks and vehicle survival, so that 250 has got a lot of health in spite of taking a lot of damage so far. Ooh, scouts down. It's amazing when you see that these uh, 1v1 elite level players lose squads in a 4v4. Um, but I do find 4v4 is quite distracting, Tyra, but I have to say, I do know how that feels. Yeah, there's just a lot more sounds going on that <laughs> you're like confused by right basically yeah you, you have a, a narrower uh, piece of the map to look after but you still manage to lose so much stuff we chase down here looking for the para wipe oh oh dear it's such a it. long way to go to get home <laughs> it's so hard to get away yeah it's a big old map and meanwhile we've got a push from axis in the center I think that's three different Axis armies pushing on Momo's machine gun. Oh dear, I don't like those odds. Eight rods are having their impact here. And he gets away. Meanwhile, we do have a push on the south, but there's so many mines there now. It's not going to help that much. We do have a Greyhound appearing. That's Treads, the team captain, and he has swept some of these mines with his... Assault Engineer, so that's what he's up to right now, but Axis are having some good fun in the center now. What else can you see up there, Tightrope? Yeah, I mean, Dixon's retaking the north with the help of that 8 rush, so that's definitely had its impact. Seems like the Allies were a little bit slower getting towards their light vehicles, and it's cost them a bit in terms of territory control. These guys have got to be thinking, what have I signed up for this? Oh, it's fun. I think this is the first time in esports history that's ever been attempted, by the way, Tightrope. This is a double elimination tournament, of course, with a lower bracket being team games. And then the fun bit about it, guys. Did you know this bit, Tightrope? The winners of this 4v4, they have to form two 2v2 teams, and then they have to fight <laughs> each other. So <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very fun. It's very fun. And marginally sadistic. That's why I made sure I had, like, relic sponsorship when I did this concept. This wouldn't work for a $200 <laughs> community budget, would it? They have to... The community would be up, up and down, eh? <laughs> uh, basically, it's like... Um, oh, I can't use that analogy. It is a sponsor stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm a very wealthy person. I got a lot of money, and you show up at my house expecting things. I'm like, right, we're going to play chess, dressed as elephants. <laughs> anyway, the sniper's about to go down. I can't believe I caught that on camera, tightrope in this 4v4 bedlam. My RNG look has finally changed as a caster. There we go. Effie's doing some stuff in the north here, going after Dixon's light vehicles. Knocks out the Marta. Eight rides in trouble as well. Ooh, we need some good shots now. He's got through the village. They're all the way getting close to base, though. And do we have any comeback? Yes, we do. We've got some yellow smoke here in the, in the bunker. Oh, what a shot there from the artillery. Oh, meanwhile, in the south, eight rads have pushed in with Panzer Jaeger support. And we've had an anti-tank gun down for treads. Oh, look at this assault. This assault is from Prabhati and Jibber acting in unison. We have a mine detonate, though, for the the AT gun there. Oh, sorry, the flak uh, violin. Oh, my sound's cutting out a bit. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm dear. I'm frozen now. Yeah, I'm frozen too. How does that work? Oh, no, it's back. There we go. Just too hot to handle, this 4v4. <laughs> I'm glad that was both of us, though. It must have been like, I don't know, some gremlin in the code or something. 
Yeah, those triple eight rods. Maybe they're the cause. They're just too devastating for even the game to handle. Oh yeah, Pantiega's pulled in for Dexon. He's up against the green player. That's Erez with those chaffies. He must be able to kill a 250. Yes, he does. But does he escape with the chaffies? He does as well. Meanwhile, the 3v3 in the center is still going on tight rope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just a war attrition through there. Heavy mortars flying every which direction. Now, this is war. This is way more like a war than a usual Company Heroes game we got. It's insane. Lovely T guns. Nice rotation down the bottom here. Oh, that was lovely. Oh. Well played by your pink player, Brubberty, from Poland. Oh, what is that? Yes, it is. The Centaur call in. That's from your yellow player, Daniel D. Fancies himself a team game expert, by the way. He said, of all the 1v1 players, the team with me on is a better chance because he reckons he can, um, you know, crawl them together. You ever seen that scene in Gladiator? Um, Ed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, Max was yeah. like, right, if you do what I say, we might have a chance. Something like that. That's happening right now, I think. Whoever the captain was who picked him, good choice. Centaur going after the 8 rad, can't get him anymore. But this is a nice push up from the two southern allies' plays. But meanwhile, the Axis are doing well in the center, well in the north, and the victory points are pretty even. Yeah, they've got that mid-bunker designate defensive line combo there, the Axis, and that's a lot of healing, very tough to break. Nubius Nath tells us that Daniel D is top 10 in Brits in 4v4, 2s and 1s. So that is Whoa. indeed true, what we're saying, yep. There's his army, he's got air and sea battle group, of course. Look at these dual 8-rads! It's an 8-rad train, we've got 8-rads of every colour and every description going through the center after this Jaffe. Feels like though the Axis did invest a lot into all these light vehicles and now the Allies are starting to clap back with their mediums. Yes they are and they need the AT guns now and that's going to leave them susceptible to indirect fire so we're seeing the natural chain of command evolving. Oh, it's Matilda for Momos in a compromised position. Slow. Smoke might have saved him there. Yeah, the smoke to the rescue, isn't it? No attack round work there from the Axis. Right, we're on board with Latus Vermat's army. It looks like they're going to focus on the centre and the north at the moment. Meanwhile, Jibber is going to try and hold the south. There's a mine there. It's an Allies mine. That's going to hurt. That's two AT guns, both down to two men each. That's a pretty good mine, all in all. So close in terms of victory points at this stage as well. Like, Nick and Nick stuff here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anything could happen right now. I just don't know, like, how to call this. Is it just going to be a war of attrition? Is there build order considerations we should, we should consider, Tightrope? Like, how much do we know about 4v4 and the strategies... I mean, we've got Brabity. His build is five eight rads. Has he gone too much into eight rads right now? <laughs> he's, you know, he's playing yeah. like Charlotte. But uh, then we've got Momo for show, who's not got much to show, but he does have that Matilda. He's glad he, that he escaped with that. We've got Jibber, who has a massive army. 78 pop cap, three AT guns, an ISG, but not much heavy armor. It is only 16 minutes, however. AT guns. The pink player, that's um, Brabity. Is it Deck Center in trouble there? Oh, it's all cooking off now. Those eight rads are going in. Five eight rads versus one AT gun. Here come the two Chaffees. <laughs> There's an AT gun up oh. there, though, that Chaffee's in trouble. Check out this flank in the center. We've got Chaffees going in there as well, so Chaffee's all over the place. The next player's army, we're going to come. Sorry, go on. <laughs> there's just so many eight rats, man. That's crazy in the north. Oh, there are eight. Please tell me there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, fail. Nice. Six rad. Six rad. Chaffee down. Thanks to the AT gun support. What a strat this is. This is radical, man. But there's a mine. Oh, no. Please go 
forward, all hit the mine at the same time. Damn it, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> they pushed up here with the AT guns and support though, the Axis. They're doing the smart. Are you calling this smart? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you stopped. You stopped yourself, didn't you? You were going to say they're doing the smart thing. <laughs> well, I mean, how smart could it be? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a what an insane drag selection there by Dexen and Bravity doing the smart thing, right clicking their opponent. <laughs> This is goat level. I do level. feel like I love it. the allies do need some more indirect fire now, you know? The, the heavy mod has been doing heavy lifting so far, but they need something extra, like a howitzer or yeah, or something. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, nice wipes there by the Sentinel. The allies are striking back, I tell you. Dex sends down to 47 pop cap. Erez, who's opposing him, has only got 39, though. He bore the brunt of that in the north, I feel. Latouf's Coastals, by the way, if you're wondering, he's the bunker boy. And uh, he's got 58 pop cap and just... Oh, uh, and a, there it is, a Nebel Werfer. And there you see... Um, there's the 8 Rad Army of Pravity. Wow, it's 2, 4, 6, 7! He's got 7 now! And look at those Gurkhas! Get turned into Gurkins. That's not good. The 8 Rads need to get away now. That's mechanized assaulty spamming, by the way, so... They can repair. Oh, the copper bombs. Oh, nice. Taking out the bunkers. Yep. Yeah, you can okay, interrupt me if you see anything like that. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, that was a good breakthrough there. Got rid of the bunker at least, but oh, they're right back on building it. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> look, at, look how quickly <laughs> they rebuilt. <laughs> oh, dear. The pain. Eight Rod Horde moving to the south now. Looks like they're trying to, like, divide and conquer. Pick apart, like, one player at a time with the eight-round swarms. Yeah, here they come. Oh, what's this? Straight. Axis loiter. Oh, a loiter. Mine detonates, though. Eight rads in trouble there. They're going forward. They don't care. Oh, what a straight that is. How cinematic is this? The eight rad army is after the M31 and its cohort. They're just going in. Pravity's all over the show. He loves it. Meanwhile, in oh this... no, Matilda goes down in the middle as well to the Axis loiter. Oh wow, God, Roll that's mode. not even Losing intended. One. Who they act activated them both, one in each uh, position in the Axis uh, at yeah. the same time. I see that now, yeah, and they're just basically dominating the center and the south. We've got four planes. That now give the Axis a window of opportunity to uh, push the Allies off this map. Oh, it's going to be tough. Feels like the Allies are a little bit behind here with these nice 8 round rotations. <laughs> and here they are, rotating back north. Yeah, side it. to side action. It's lovely, isn't it, in a way? It's like, clean up on IL-8, we've got some allied overspill. Can we call in the 8 rat swarm? <laughs> right, probably just Bring in the recon plane. Oh, oh he's gone for a cup of bombing now. Yeah, let's get this on screen. This will be lovely. My computer can take it. <laughs> that was a lot of death that time, actually. It was a double squad wipe and... Um, uh, yeah, nice. I will say that yeah, no anti-air, I don't think, from the Axis at the moment after they knocked out that flak half track, so their planes are working well for the Allies. Yeah, it's not going too badly. How's, how's your boy Momo doing? He's, oh, he's losing. Uh, he's got an okay-ish army. It's 52 pop cap. He's getting a second Matilda now. He also, by the way, has a perimeter monitor to utilize at some point. 300 munitions in the bag. That could be useful. Yeah, on these big 4v4 scenarios, those kind of off maps are so powerful. Nice, so much territory. Evil throwing fog into the north. And um, Treads is still continuously trying to push south. He has to apply the pressure there, because if he doesn't, the red player, that's Jibber, 
will, um, you know, use his army elsewhere. Saying that, Jibber has a massive army all in all, 73 pop cap, and he's got three AT guns amongst it. And I do think he is actually helping control the center and keep us out. So Treads has got a lot of work to do. Yeah, Jibber's upgrading the uh, combat half tracks right now as well. I think he's going to go for some mortar half track action. Ooh, the eight rats have to smoke themselves out. Tightrope, they've just gone in to get a, an engineer wipe, but the bazooka and a mine Ooh. waiting for them. This could be the end of the eight rat army. Yeah, he's going to get two of them here, I think. Should do. Oh, Ooh, he's coming yes. in even further. He wants more than two. Why not? Oh, look at There's that the sensor action. <laughs> wow. Carnage. Good support play, though, all round. You know, these guys truck together for the first time, but they're supporting each other nicely. Yeah, they really are. The green player here, Eris, the team captain, getting a supply drop. He's got a Hellcat now. He's at 52 pop cap. Ooh, nice oh, wow, that air burst. Yeah. It's just still so close, man, in terms of victory points as well. Yeah. Hard to call a winner at this stage. Another carpet bomb. Oh, my. Let's see what he gets this time. Anybody in the crosshair? That pioneer. Get out of there, mate. You don't want to be there. Oh, oh there was a retreat <laughs> from the pink player. At that point in time, Dex nearly ran into that. Raised him. This is from Ares. This could be... Uh, Oh, this is just... Okay. We can... Matilda's pushing in the now. Matilda's... Oh, but he's got the loiter coming in now. Oh, that's the vet to Matilda. He wants to keep that alive. He's keeping vision as well with the MG... Well, nearly. Matilda should escape here, I feel. And that's perimeter monitor, by the way. Tried to catch all those AT guns of... Um... Is that Dexon, I believe? Yeah, uh, no, that's... Rabbity now has four AT guns. Okay, he swapped a, a eight rats for AT guns all of a sudden. That's interesting. Saw the incendiary bombing from Daniel D earlier. Didn't really hit a huge amount, but did decrew the ISGs. So Axis and, and kind of in tatters in the middle right now, but they're making moves in the north. Perimeter monitor, though, causing them some trouble. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that's not good. They're showing their weak sides to these tanks as well. Oh, we could bait him into these four AT guns, though. If he's not careful. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for. <laughs> right. Oh, look at these shafties assembled down here. And we've got an army from Jibber now. That's two Stugs. Two pans of fours, or is that Latouf? Sorry, the Latouf and Jibber, they're mixed panzer army, and the Chaffees are backing out of there. That's a Chaffee and. Is that an Easy 8 Sherman? Yes, it is the Easy 8 Sherman. Yeah, it doesn't want to fight a two on one, so that's a wise choice by Treads to get out of there. And Treads has taken South Island, as we used to call it. So, um, fair enough to him. The Allies certainly are winning now, I would say, Tightrope. Important victory point battle. It's almost like a 1v1 all of a sudden in the north. Wow. <laughs> cool, though. They've got quite a lot of upgrades on their side, so they can carry them in the late game. We're trying to stop this cap in the center from Momo. Another carpet bombing run, perhaps? Oh no, they're just dropping supplies in the north. Yep, wants those munis so he can spam more <laughs> oh, carpet bombs <laughs> oh, I see, later. I see. <laughs> yep, setting it up. Oh, through. and speaking of carpet bombs, here comes one. No, that's Daniel D's incendiary again. Ooh, well, that's on a lot of support weapons, so they're going to have to go forward to survive here. And carpet bombing. Oh boy, oh, it's all there's a lot. Off. The American way! Uh -oh. Oh, 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 he retreated into that slightly. That's not good. 
There we go. The Matildas took down the Vickers as well. The stolen Vickers there. And now they're going to delete it. Let's go through the army sizes and figure out what's going on there. We've got Prabatis at 50, pop cap 3. And he's built, he's built a sniper? Really? With this much devastation all around? He built a sniper, Prabati? Not sure about that one, mate. Oh, he's so, he's so penned in as well on that choke point. That's just an air burst, though. He'll be fine. Momo's not looking too... Actually, he's not doing too bad. I was about to say not looking too healthy, but he has three Matildas. He just doesn't have much infantry left. Meanwhile, in the south, we do have a battle worth watching. This is Treads' American army. He's got the M31 sight up. He just retreats to it, and he can repair on the field so quickly. Yeah. He even was using it to repair up Momo's tanks early as well. Like, really good teamwork. Nice play by him. He is the team captain, after all. And here comes the double there, Max. That's... Oh, boy. Lois is coming oh. in as well. Trid's got to get out of there. That's the M31 down. Oh, no. Here comes the Wehrmacht. They're getting through. They're pushing through. It's a blitzkrieg here. It's all alone in this two-on-one, but he's a bit faster than these Axis tanks, at least, so he shouldn't be in too much oh, trouble. Oh, but he's backed up into a wall. Oh, oh. oh no. You driving? never do that. It's one Stug for his trouble. Oh, look at that. We've got more Stuka Loiters taking out. Yeah, Dixon. Yeah, wow. Bring his ones in as well. No anti-air from the Allies, I don't think. They lost that pulse in, so maybe they need to do something about it because these Loiters are tearing them apart. Look at that from Dexen pushing up with the Marders and the 8 Rad. There's mines awaiting them. They don't want to go too far forward. Oh, dear. They do take out one of the vehicles, though. Oh, but yeah, Momo with the rotation, he's going to mop them up. Meanwhile, on the victory point count, it must be noted the Allies have capped all three victory points despite the mayhem. Oh, no. Oh, no, he needs to see this. Oh, no, I thought he that was... bring in the... Uh, oh, I said he needed to see it! There's two squads oh. down on the centre! Oh. Incendiary bombing, oh, dear, oh, dear. That was Latouf losing two teeth there from the front of his face, getting smacked. Feels like maybe the Allies are taking control with all these airstrikes. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? I think next time the players are like, hey, we'll just have single elimination, please. That's absolutely fine. Put me up against um, Ferragi in round one, I don't care. Sniper dead? <laughs> Well, Sniper's a distraction. Dixon down to 19 population right now, by the way. What? He's going for two, a recontractor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, and here we go. You want freedom? We'll give you freedom. Oh, oh there's We've so got... much in there too. Oh, oh, this, this is going to be best. devastating. <laughs> oh. That's three support weapons down there. They don't have much to recruit. They don't have a, like a bunker there to reinforce anymore and stuff to uh, get those team weapons back under their control. So this is not good for the Axis. Alcats are pushing in now as well. Guys are putting the boots to the Axis team here. Now, those Matildas of Momo finally unleashed. Yeah, I think the Allies can see the win ahead of them and they're going for it. Chomping at the bit. They've passed the final hurdle. They're on the final furlong. Yeah, they're swooping in here, making sure the Axis cannot reclaim any of these team weapons. And the 8 rides are powerless in this kind of engagement. Oops, though, coming in from Jiva. We can get something going here. Wow, the Matilda is just rolling. The Matilda train is continuing. They've barely suffered a ca any damage either. That's got to be it. G2 
GG? Yeah, I'm sure. Yep. Alright, let's check the stats before um, anything further happens because it wouldn't be fair to the ones that give up. Momo, highest uh, KD, 150 to it 92. <laughs> Not too shabby. Must be the heavy mortar, right? That thing was a beast. Yeah. Highest damage dealt was uh, by him, so well played. Uh, meanwhile, on the Axis team, Latouf had the lowest KD, 52 to 142. That's unfortunate. Uh, but he had a lot of damage dealt. Uh, sorry, no, he didn't. He had a lot of damage taken, my bad. Um, it was Jibber with the most damage dealt. 22,000. But yeah, Momo, MVP there for certain. Um, I don't know any other graphs that are... In, you can't really use the other graphs. <laughs> you can't use the graphs, can you? Any stats we want to see before we move on? <laughs> no, I think that's uh, covered it nicely. That'll do us. That's the only one we can really use, isn't it? Okay, then. Let's um, get ready for game two, then, chaps. Let's have a little bit of a break, because you can imagine t Tightrope and my our Tightrope and I's minds are rather frazzled after that. So we have to have a bit of silence for a second. So give us a second, and we'll be back with game two. Thank you.
but we're not done. Well, now there's a war to be won. We never died, not even once. Welcome to the resurgence. Hello there and welcome back. This is game two of a best of three. I'm at 17, 18, 19, 20. Tightrope, are you with me? Yep. Let's go. We've got, that's right, it's Jibber Jabber Jobber. We've got Dexen joining him. He is as Brits. He's the only Brit player in their allies cohort. We've got Latooth as, of course, USF. We've established that. And Prabati as the Americans. Who do we have as the Axis this time, Tightrope? We have Ares with Wehrmacht, Daniel D with Africa Corps, Momo with Wehrmacht, and Treads with Africa Corps. So an even split on the Axis side. Yeah, excellent. Even split. And we saw, I would say, arguably better synergy um, in that one. Uh, Tyro, what would you say from the allies? They had better synergy? Or... Um. <laughs> uh, Can you describe it as such? No. Or did they play. Maybe not synergy is the right word. Maybe they just played their build orders more seriously and more kind of traditional combined arms meta uh, in amongst their own build order. What would you say to that? Is that a good premise? I think that, you know, the Axis tried to play around the Dismac defensive line bunkers in the middle and. The allied off maps just blew them apart, really. Okay, so simple as that. <laughs> Try to pin yep. it down to uh, <laughs> play a skill and cohesion, but uh, Tightrope basically said, "Nah, big bombs go boom." But in well, a, you know, they just are trying to play together around DDL, and it just, you know, didn't <laughs> doesn't work. That's a very simple situation. I think, like, if I'd shown that game to my dad, that would have been his deduction as well. So. Your, you know, 10 plus years of coming to Heroes Elite level training tightrope have uh, come down to that deduction, but it's probably because we're casting 4v4, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, oh, let's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the, uh, you know, the 8 rad rotations, that was more teamwork, right, I think. Yeah, true, true, was... true. The 8 rad rotation was uh, pretty decent, actually. They just kind yeah. of, like kept doing it too much. They had success with... Oh, mine! Detonates first squad wipe of the game. They had, they had so much success with it, they kind of like, I don't know, just carried on to the point where it overstayed its welcome. Well, let's concentrate on this game at hand and let's see mm -hmm. um, what's going to happen in this one. Let's get rid of the new overlay so we can see a little bit more of this 4v4 mega action. Looks like we've got a cook off Treads. Likes to burn Pathfinders until they're well done. He's down in the middle as well. Squad wipe maybe going against the teal player. Teal player is Dexen's Brits. And then we've got Latouf's USF. They could be next on the Barbie. Oh no, he's going all the way here. No AT rifles yet. In fact, he's not even upgrading them. Uh oh, not good for Dexen. Uh, 250 lift. Doing what it loves to do. Killing Americans. Yeah, a great start for the Allies. Really, sorry, for the Axis, my bad. I keep thinking because they were Allies that last time, they're the Axis this time, of course. But it's Team Treads. Great start for Team Treads. Treading everyone under Tread and continuing to do so. I mean, the amount of work they've got and done, the two DAC players, that's Daniel D. And Treads himself has been tremendous, hasn't it? With these 250s, Tyrone. Yeah, exactly. The 250s getting access off to such a strong start. Oh, but the Dingo, what a move there. Knocks out the 250. Good rotation from Dexin. Yeah, Dingo's going in as well. So that's from Dexin. Yep, he's a middle player. He's coming down south to help out there. We'll use him as off-camera for a little while. Why not? Just didn't go in around, having some good fun, Tightrope. <laughs> it 
Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, wow. pabuji has gone for a sniper. Didn't he go for a sniper last game as well? He must really like the snipers and teams. He went for two, mate. Yeah, he lost his first one and he built another one. I don't know what he's thinking. I never see snipers from anybody. But if I do see them, it's the few times I've played 4v4, to be fair. I mean, they're less flankable in a 4v4, but... At this high level, they're just going to get focused and die, in my opinion. Chipper's about to pop a quad down here in the bottom. He's making inroads. Yeah, and it seems the red player, Treads, knows about it. Easy territory Ooh. game for the allies. Gratchison's already found the sniper and kills him immediately. <laughs> That's why you don't go sniper, everybody. <laughs> It's so risky while there are all these death like vehicles like zooming around. But one of them just uh, zoomed right into a mine and went down there. Wow, nice, nice mine. Oh yeah, there it is. Looks like Jiv is pulling down a paratrooper squad now. What else do we have? Let's check out Dex's non-existent build. He's 18 pop cap, oh my. He's got to get a lot of work done with this dingo. Shall we have a look at? Shall we check out Momo's army? How's he doing? He's gone Jaegers. And he's going to have a big power spike here. His flat feeling and Lig are about to arrive, so expect to see good things from him shortly. Yep. Self professed team game enjoyer is going to be doing well for his captain, Treads. The victory point lead for the allies, though, at this stage already. Much bigger than what we saw previously. Yeah. Yeah. It's not been a good start for the allies this game. Team Latouf. Certainly less tension in the air, but let's see if the allies can uh, recuperate. Got some good weapons fielding. This is Jibber Jabber Jobber's. Um, Krautmower there. And he's got the ambulance pushed up as well. Typical um, 4v4 fashion. Meanwhile, that's Dexen. He's got the uh, armor cache. Supply surplus, as it's called, sorry. He is the Brit player, of course. Yeah, auto build caches. <laughs> Trying to buff up the allies' ammunitions here. Maybe they're planning a, like a late game bomb fest, like we kind of what we saw last game. You gotta love a good bomb fest. Yeah, Daniel D now. He's looking to get into this now with his black feeling. Pushing away the bazooka squad, creating an opening. Meanwhile, in the north, Captain versus Kettencrad. Looks like the green player. That's uh, Prabati. He's started to make a big push up there. Dixon just got another kill on the dingo. Oh. Daddy Crutchets and down the bottom. Nice. That dingo's vet to you now. We have him now rolling up for Latouf. Okay. A little bit on the late side, I'd say. Yeah, M31 could be decent again, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure about armor. I just everyone just go airborne. Everyone just do four US into four supplies, uh, supply drops into four bombardment spams. Surely that's four v four meta tightrope. <laughs> maybe I'm <laughs> maybe I'm just a noob though. I don't know. That's what me and my buddies would do. Pretty good. If I had friends, that's what we'd do tightrope. In spite of investing all that into caches, like the allies are still doing pretty well right now. Yeah. There'll be a lot of power creep if they do sustain themselves, because of course, having cashed up several points, 
their income's going to be pretty decent. Let's compare. We've got 50 munitions for this Allies player. And meanwhile, Momo's only on 41. And, Mo and the Axis team actually have more of the... Uh, well, they don't quite have this one in the north, to be fair. That jeep in the south. <laughs> Bloody hell. Run into two Panzerjäger squads. And they are quick scopers now, aren't they, Tightrope? Yeah, so fast on the aim. A mortar pit down the bottom for Jibber as well. He's really kind of set up shop down there. He's putting another mortar pit on the hill in the middle as well, it looks like. So he's fond of these mortar pits, and they are pretty good for the US forces. Yeah, could probably cover the whole map still. A scout call go down there. It's a 2 2 1 down to the double bazookas of Prabati's army. It's Panzi Aegis staying on hold fire. They want to get this shot off on the ground. Will they get it? Oh, that's a big shot, but they won't finish it off, sadly. Yeah, the Marta was kind of spinning around in circles there. Just need one shot. The weasel of Prabhati is going north to cap the victory point there. Yeah, Axis are about to tick under 250 here, so... And I swear Axis had the better start to this. Amazing what allies can do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening, yeah. That was so surprising. I, I thought the victory points were flipped the wrong way around. <laughs> like it used uh, to be in the previous that, patch. That's been fixed. That's been fixed, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately. You guys, the Dingo had a good run. Oh. Tyro, you've been on Dingo Watch all game long. I wish I'd caught some of these epic Dingo moments. I was right. I, was, you was, I saw your camera. You was right there. Oh, good. Yeah, my bra Oh, yeah, there it is. Sorry. Literally, I, my pupils dilate sometimes when I'm casting, and I just, like, I don't take anything Maybe in. Maybe wide view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a lazy eye anyway, so I just, like, I, yeah, I just, like, basically zone out. So it could be right there in front of me what's happening, but I'm just like, ah, 420 blaze it, bro. <laughs> what are you <laughs> These long tournament I days. Part... <laughs> I think a large part of the Allies' success right now is that Jibber's just held the bottom, like, basically the entire game. And that's caused trouble for the Axis. Just haven't been able to contest that southern VP until now. Who's the red player? That is Treads. So Captain Treads versus Sir Gibberlot. Oh, he's built another mortar pit in the middle too. <laughs> <laughs> Zero pop cap gaming, bro. Let's go. Surely right that's next to the other one. Loads of mortars on that ridge. How can you contest that? Yeah, X is going to need a big off map of their own to take care of them. Oh no, the Stug goes down. Whoopsie daisy. Yep, there it is. It goes down. Two to the Phosphorus in the middle. Oh, Gasatori versus Commandos in the north. That's pretty high, but Gasatori, of course, win. Taking that victory point into Axis hands. Meanwhile, Jaegers oh, and then Greyhound goes down to the to the very same two Wehrmacht players in the same situation. Axis do finally seem to have wrestled control of a few of these victory points, though. It's good for them because they are quite far behind, and they've got these LEIGs just going to town. Such a long range on them, they're barraging the allied mortars out the back. Yeah, LEIG's going to town. That's the counter, it seems. They haven't quite found the Vet 2 mortar pit yet, that... yet but Jib is probably dreading the moment they do. Let's. Going on in the center. Yeah, it seem like they're taking control a little bit right now. Yeah, 
Oh, the Empire Strikes Back. Let's do a um, battle group check in a second if I get a moment. Don't want to miss too much, of course. We've got Treads. He's armoured. We've got Jibba is airborne. We've got Daniel D as Italian infantry. Gravity is special operations. We've got Momo is mechanised. We've got Latouf is armoured. Silver's pushing up there. Don't want to miss that. We've got Italian coastal for Ares. Yeah, there we go. That's everybody. Dixon got that Matilda out now, so he's starting to put it to use, but there are a couple AT guns down the bottom, making life difficult. Couple. Hey, we get the bug at the same time. Yep, yep. How does that happen? Martyrs kept right there, but three AT guns coming in for the Allies. I think now the Allies are trying to base. Oh, the mortars are there. What a big battle in the south. Sherman's AT guns. One mortar down, though. He overstayed his welcome. Sighting his main gun for way too long. Should have sight sighted his secondary gun. That probably would have helped him. Ooh, assault Grens down. Royal Engineers. OP. Nerf them to the ground, Relic. <laughs> He is a part of a cabal of um, mercenary anti-Brit main agents, and we are going to command Relic to nerf the Royal Engineers again, Tyrope. <laughs> again! <laughs> nerf them again, Relic! Nerf them into the dust! That's according. That's the world according to Reddit, by the way. Just an FYI. Yeah, I was going to say, somebody's going to think you're being serious. So. <laughs> <laughs> top. By the time we finish the four before, that'll be the top post on Reddit, the clip from this stream. <laughs> right then. The Reddit have fought back well on the victory points. They're now only down by a bit over 100, so they're, they're doing really well all of a sudden. Yeah, and look at this from the orange player. That's Momo for show. Oh, Momo the bro taking out all the mortar pits now with his yeah, Jaegers and Stoss Wow, that's a big blow to the Allies. Oh, he's seen the supply bunker as well of Dexon. Here comes the bulldozer. No, oh, no, bulldozer counters that blob. Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear. And a grenade. Oh, and a grenade. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's lucky to get away there. All four squads somehow intact. As That's cute how the Stukas dip into the valley. I <laughs> love it. Those uh, are the uh, planes of prep beauty, They actually. are, sorry. Speak yeah. ops, loiter, the new one. Raiding flares, yeah. Does more damage now, I saw on your video. Well, it used to be a strafe, now it's a loiter. Ah, but it does do more... There is... Okay, I'm getting mixed up. I kind of watched your video whilst at work. I was pretending to do work. <laughs> <laughs> and on my desk, I was listening to it. Got me through the rest of Friday afternoon. Nice. Yep. Oh, there's the first evil Verva Barrage, stopping the central victory point being captured. Oh, that was a big hit. Yeah, there's a real tug of war here in the middle. Back and forth we're going. Well, that was a bad demise. Yeah, nicely captured. You've got anti ear on the Axis side this time around. It does make a difference. Alright, let's check out everybody's pop caps. We've got Momo at 51, Latouf at 46. Era 66, Dex sends at 49, Treads at 75, that's the biggest army I think, Jibber at 71, Daniel D at 91, pop cap, wow, oh, wow, oh, <laughs> what's he up to, holy specialist. crap, this is a specialist, he loves yeah. 4v4, what's going on? Oh boy. Somebody's building a beach, eh? Oh, he's getting some big hits in the middle. On the ramp. Yep, I see that now. One more in it. Nope. Oh, let's get it. 
Oh, it was on the rocks. I dare look away. Lloyd coming in from treats down the bottom now, trying to buy himself some breathing room. Oh, here comes a carpet bombing next, though. Uh-oh. That's a big one. There's an 88 right there. I wonder if that's going to go down. He's trying to tow it out of there. I think it's too late, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's very Tragedy. dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. So many losses there for the Axis down the bottom. Yeah. Treads, he's down to 45 pop cap now. And look at the the allies. That is um, Dexan. He's Brits. He's pushing in. Ah, there's the strafe taking out the flak once and for all. AA is really helping though. Dixon's Lord is not lasting like super long, at least. The allies are going to get back into this now, Tyro. They took out some serious material there. Yep. Just retreating to the hill, but we saw last time this was a recipe for disaster. Too concentrated one area, getting annihilated. Look at these bazookas. Oh, nice shot there. We got the uh, Abitchi firing again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think it's hitting that much on this occasion, though. No, okay, fair enough. He put it so far forwards as well, that Avicii. It's like, it's got a lot of range. War is hell, Tightrope. Look at all that devastation. It seems like allies are taking control, though. Yeah, through hell and fire and brimstone, they're somehow surviving to retake cool. the center. Panther coming out from Momo. That maybe could swing things back for the Axis a bit. Really? This isn't Code 2 tightrope. Well, I don't think there are like any Hellcats out yet, so... Oh, uh, okay. It's largely kind of uncounted, I would say. Just has to avoid the AT guns and he's good to go. Fair enough. Pravity does have a Hellcat coming out next, however, to Pravity's armies not to be scoffed at 89 Popcap, two bulldozers, loads of SSF commandos. He's currently losing this MG, but that's spider bite. Oh, another couple bomb down the bottom. Thank you for the shout out, Sight Rope. Scattering. Oh no, I don't think he's gotten out of there again. He's gonna lose that AT gun for sure. Oh, oh and the rest! And the rest! He lost his whole army! He it couldn't retreat fast army. enough! Oh, what has oh, he got left? No. He's got nothing! Treads. He gets nothing left! Treads down to 31 oh. pop cap all of a sudden. Oh, you were just saying he had a big army. What? <laughs> Big army gone. Oh. He had a big army tightrope. It's in the past tense now, my friend. Yeah. Enemy hold victory point, Disaster. Wow. Yeah. All I. <laughs> At least it's in a man manpower income per minute. Aye, tightrope. Every cloud's <laughs> got a silver lining. <laughs> Oh, pretty decent needle work for there. Oh, the 88. Oh, no, that's not. That's this. Oh, yeah, it is an 88 from Daniel D. Knocks out the bulldozer. Oh, there's three loiters coming in now. Uh, I don't even want to cast this. I'll just, like, pan my camera down. It's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's so going many on? <laughs> There's on. four noises now. There's four of them. <laughs> no. What's going on? This is just silly. Oh. Naval bombardment too from Dixian. Oh, that's brutal. Naval bombardment. Bombardment. Bombardment, tightrope. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. There's 88s. They just cannot survive with all these off maps. No. Oh. Oh, 
allies are going in for the kill now. The soft underbelly here. X is trying their best to hold on, but it looks like the Obiche is going to go down. Oh, no Obiche, no love. Oh, and here comes the Corbett bombing to finish them all. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is the oh. mother of all bombs. Zyro, oh, no. Oh, my God. This is a massacre. Oh, I think that's the GG moment there, that last carpet bombing. <laughs> Oh, Twitch, just no. clip everything. Just keep clipping. We're making like a montage video for YouTube here. <laughs> just carpet bombs. <laughs> uh, so surprised my PC still running this. <laughs> yeah, it's the joy of Company Heroes 3. It actually runs well. Yeah. This is code 2 would be at like 20 frames per second right now. Oh man, I couldn't cast 4v4 back in 2014, 15. I had no chance. That would be a slideshow. <laughs> it's completely balanced, uh, Stern Panther. It's completely balanced because the Axis have um, Katankrads, so. You know. Right then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Axis has that's like that. I don't think anything. Should be making some moves. He went for the 76 mil Shermans. And they are slicing through Treads' remaining army. Yeah, he's not. Let's have a look at Treads' army. <laughs> Treads is going to lose everything, Tightrope. It's a rare yeah, time is. you lose everything. He, he could technically... Oh. Ooh, nice shot, though. Ooh. Nice shot. Two Sherman. Okay. Okay. That was helped, by the way. Um, Daniel D, the legend. Is it Daniel D? Ares. Is it Ares? Okay. Sorry. Ares came to help him, yeah. Sorry, the difference between Lilac and Fuchsia is difficult at times. <laughs> well, I think it might be going to a game three here. All right. Both teams winning as allies. Looking that way. Oh, bloody hell. Here's some more stuff. Killing everything. I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Next, just going to throw in the towel. Do you remember who had better victory points? Uh, get, uh, it'll be the winners of the game one. So it's the Momo team probably. Which I believe is Team Treads. I'm pretty sure. Stern Panther did has he got some refereeing oh no Stern Panther will have like documented every second of these games because he's like a 4v4 supremacist so yeah I'm sure he's on top of it who gets the well what's what's the next map first it's off it's that other good 4v4 map you know the one that's also in the desert but has like lakes um, uh, answers on a postcard what's it called <laughs> Lasus Wetlands there you go how did A yeah. think of that that's the good yeah. one. Yeah. Right then. That's exciting. I wonder how many viewers we've got. Oh, three, only three. We had 440 early. Where's everybody gone? I think this is way better <laughs> than the other content. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm going to check my... I want to see some of these carpet bombings again. Where are we Latouche at, guys? Is, uh, Oh, Latouche's team's got the action pick. Okay, nice one. Stir Panther. Thanks, Sturmy Panther. I best, I best see loads of clips here, guys. I'm going to be really upset if not. I'm going to be like a stroppy. Uber Carpet Bomb by Tobisco. Oh, that sounds good. Let's go with that. <laughs> but the, it might not be the biggest one. We ended up with bigger ones than this, didn't we? <laughs> that last one was monstrous. <laughs> yeah. Probably about four of them were the <laughs> 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 They were humongous. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. There's We've got... so much in the oh, oh, this is going to be bad. devastating. That wasn't <laughs> even that big. It got way bigger than that. Right. And there was like 14 weapons decrewed, I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it was decent, but the one literally just was so much bigger. Did no one get that last one? Or were we all just over carpet bombings by the time? The last one was way bigger. Uh, maybe it's this one. Hang on. What's this? Oh, no, it's 1v1. Like five minutes ago or so. Yeah. 
Maybe it's not showing up on the... Uh... <laughs> DevM says, the carpet bomb might need a buff. I'll... All right, adding three aeroplanes to it. <laughs> I think it's just cost reduction, you know? Not spareable enough. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That last one was the best one. I'm going to go find it again. The best one. I'm going to go find it again. Shay. I'm talking. Shay. Okay. This one. The belly here. Oh, this is it. This is it. Hold on, but it looks like the Obiche is going to go down. Oh. No Obiche, no love. Oh, and here comes the carpet bombing to finish them all. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is the mother of all bombs. I rope. Oh, no. Oh my god! This is a massacre! Could have been better, actually. Still pretty good. Um, yeah. Could have been better. Maybe that's why they didn't clip it as much. Do we have a third replay already or not? We don't! We don't! Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody send Tightrope some love. He's gonna need it. Go um, subs twi follow him on Twitch and subscribe to him on YouTube, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's eat some more of these poppadoms. Do the players have like a, do they get like a 10 minute break or something? Or? Nah, screw them. Make them play straight away, Stone Panther, no break. No, they have a break. Okay. I think it's like 10 minutes or something, 15 minutes maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a break ourselves, Tightrope, or do you just want to chill on screen for a bit? It's up to you. Nah, I'll, I'll take a break, go get some more water. Alright guys, we'll be back with you in 5 to 10 minutes, thank you.
Well, now there's a war to be won. We never died, not even once. Welcome to the resurgence. Hello there, and welcome to game three of this best of three. You're looking at the allied team of Rabbity, Jibber, Latouf, and Dexen. And who are they up against, dear tightrope? Here is Daniel D, Mo for show, and the Captain Treads. Captain Treads. The map, Seuss Wetlands, which is wet on land. 
And uh, it's all about this stronghold in the centre. Where there's a lot of fuel in the north of that uh, fortress. And you're going to want to take it. Three plus fives all together. Position taken. Everybody needs cover. Very, I even very us. pretty map, this one. I, I do like it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, Stone Panther, the referee for today, says Latouf had faction pick for the ace game, and Latouf, of course, chose carpet bombing. I mean, allies. <laughs> <laughs> we got three yeah, allies. Yeah, well, now. you know, it ain't broke. Don't fix it, or don't change faction, or I don't, I don't know. I'm no, being okay. confused. No, the, the, how it works is, if it ain't broke, don't stop bombing your opponent's faces off. That's how, it oh, works. Okay. That's how it works. 250 after the Jeep, but the Jeep is faster. Anybody on the retreat path? Yep, there is. Crash! should turn to the rescue. Try to turn. Oh, it's aim time. Oh, come on, no Jeep, good. survive! All eyes on this Jeep, guys. So fast. <laughs> how is he going to get away, though? The Pioneer's trying to stop him. The scouts are looking out for him. There is this way He's, back. Oh, cheeky self-repair, though. Oh, cheeky self-repair! And the 250 couldn't find him. They're not coordinated enough. And the Jeep's back, baby. Oh, he's been found out. I don't care what else is going on. I'm just sad this... No, the Jeep's going to continue to try and survive. Go on, Latouf. You're the captain. And he saved this Jeep tightrope. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. What a triumph. Great play. I think he's just won the game. That one action. Oh, Dingo chased down 250 in the middle. Wow. Dixon on fire with the dingo again. Dixon's on fire. Your half tracks are terrified. Dixon's on fire. Ooh. <laughs> What's that, mate? Oh, he's still going. <laughs> he's going. Grad Shipson down. 250 down. What the dingo don't do? It don't diddly matter because the dingo does everything let's go he's still he's going for another one he's going let's kill atrocity go dingo go this is awesome they're just giving up on protecting these vehicles go on dingo get in there dexon wow. dexon's dingo will always remember that tightrope <laughs> yeah I mean, honestly, if you're, if you're playing 4 v as you can see here, you're up against Africa Core, get a dingo, because you've got to find something for it to do. Hang on, let me just pick up my red phone and talk to Relic immediately about nerfing the dingo into oblivion. Hang on a second. <laughs> I've got to do it to annoy the Redditors. It's got to happen. Scout's got wet feet and had to retreat. Yeah, lies in control of two VPs at this stage, but X is looking pretty strong in the north. The enemy has claimed a sector. Um, Hesco in chat says dingoes were shit in real life. Can someone time him out, please? At least for one minute. Not, not about that dong now. Dong to that. Yeah, we don't want that. We're not into that. Well, allies are dominating. Seems like victory point choice was the correct one. Yeah, well, getting a couple wipes like that from the dingo, like, straight away, is just such a big impact in terms of territory control. Now the allies are even looking for the northern area. They've got all sorts of good engagements going on up here as well. Texas are going to need a good counterattack with the light vehicles to uh, make this work. I feel like Momo's Coastals, was it a good idea to go Coastals if you're the northern player? I don't think they've arranged their fixed positions correctly, I'm not sure. This is Tingo looking for another squad wipe here in the north. Oh my god. Coastal Dexon. in trouble for Momo. Oh no! Oh, no the base MGs! Oh, oh it's a tragedy. When your Dingo goes down and there's no Dingoes left, it's a tragedy. That's right. I think that's like unfamiliarity with the map, you know? It just doesn't know the exact base CMG kind of positioning. 
And now the 2-2 two, two, time to strike. Tightrope, airborne about to die. Yeah. Nice counterattack from Momo. Everything's going right from here. Yep, it's Momo's army here. You get that DDL in a prominent position in the fortress, maybe he'll be laughing. Meanwhile, we've had double M9 bazookas dropped here. And, oh, they're picked up by the pioneers. <laughs> Bad Uncle Bob says, pretty sure I just watched that dingo eat like four baby 250s. Uh, for those that don't know, that's from a tabloid newspaper headline in Australia in the 80s. A dingo ate my baby. I'm not sure that's the case, but oh well. Um, 2 2 1 versus Jeep in the north. He's paying a lot of respect because there's a greyhound up there now for Latouf as well. Oh, I see. Good presence of mind. He's upgrading for Momo, but it's not here yet, so he's in a lot of trouble. Greyhound had immediate effect on target. Momo quivering away from a Latouf's Greyhound. Panzer Jaeger calling coming in. Maybe this can counter it from Daniel D. But that Panzer Jaeger with the enhanced rate of fire inside the 250 are really scary now. Like it was scary before, but it's crazy good against like vehicles, that combo. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Right, what's the uh, Jibba player doing now? He's on airborne, he's getting an anti-tank drop as well, and yeah, Tightrope says the anti-tank half-track is doing work down here. He's going from building to building. Who's going to lose a scout in the north? So something's finally going right for the Axis. Yeah, the Axis power. Look at the territory control for the Allies. It's crazy. It's been like that for a while as well. They've had so much fuel. If you look in the north, that's 15, well, it's 25 fuel, isn't it? And they've had that for a while now. Yeah. That <laughs> makes it really hard to come back when your vehicles are being delayed like that. Salt grenades forcing away Gravity's forces. And they've got the officer as well now. That's um, Ares, who also has coastals. So two coastals for the uh, Axis. The game is kind of separated into two 2v2s, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody in the centre. Look at the fog of war. There's nothing happening. Yeah. In the centre. Yeah. <laughs> two two v two. Tightrope. Which one are you going to watch? <laughs> Split up, right? Oh, we got a yeah. centaur now as well. That centaur is for Dexen. It's a fast centaur. Nine minutes. Mmm. Very good. Well, the Axis have kind of taken control of the north. They've still got a bit of capping to do up there, but they've finally broken through. But I don't know how long it's going to last with the Centaur hidden up there. Yeah, the Centaur's going to have shock impact up here, I feel. There's no AT that I can see, except for the Jaegers, and if they get forced off, there's nothing. Oh, there's the Jaegers. Yeah, there's a, a Panzer Jaeger and a Jaeger. It gets confusing when you cast the code 3. And the most of them are dead! Bloody hell! Victory point. just going hard. Oh! Oh, shot after shot. That Shrek has to get out of there. Every shot is penetrating. Why? To quote the infamous Alping now. And that looks like a complete collapse for the Axis in the north. Yeah, they have the north at the moment, Centaur. but they won't have wow. it for much longer. Wow, Dexter with the north Daniel's Centaur. getting a T-gun. Sorry, dude. Sorry to interrupt you. That's all right. What can you see throughout the army's uh, tightrope? Anyone with you with an interesting build order, perhaps? Well, I think 
Jibber again he's going for like he went for the 75 more half track and he really likes that healing half track as well down the bottom it's helping them with fight fire with fire you know we've got DDL versus healing half track helping the allies down the bottom Centaur has just mopped up here. Dexan is the MVP of the Allied Army in this game three. He's gone for another. We do have a martyr up there for Momo, but it's been detected actually. By the uh, Jeep's detection, I think. Yeah, I saw that for a moment there. Yeah, a lot of asterisks on the minimap. Good use of that from the tooth. So good from that 250. But here comes a bulldozer from Pabuti. Wow, that's that's a fast, fast one. They do have a stroke down the bottom at least. The centaurs are coming down as well. Oh no, this is really bad for the Axis all of a sudden. What a rotation by Dexen. Bulldozer oh. centaur combo. What can withstand this tightrope? Oh, I tell you what, can it's help. doing pretty well. Oh, but they go the Jaegers. Oh no. I think Dixon definitely MVP so far this match. The Dingoes, the Centaurs. He's, he's, he's got the rest of the team on his back here. Yeah. Look at this. He's also fighting in the north as well at the same time. The man's playing out of his skin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a bombardment! There. <laughs> oh, oh, he's driving back going. in with the flak. Oh, Daniel, no. no! That was epic! Oh, again! <laughs> oh, no, the machine gun! Let's go! <laughs> Is it finished? Oh, that was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> rule Britannia. Britannia rules the desert. Something like that. I don't know how it works, but anyway. Now we've got planes as well, apparently. Pick ops planes coming through. Always her going. Oh, shit. Bulldoze it. Oh, my. But this is an accurate interpretation of World War II. The Germans were great until they exploded. Militarily speaking, they weren't great at all. Well, I'm not sure how the Axis are going to get their way back into this one. A nice sweeping in the north, though. Okay, that's, that's a good start. Yeah. Leading first with the sweepers, getting back onto the field. Shooting some of these planes out of the sky as well. Oh, that one fell in into the nether, the last plane. Kept four. Oh, and they still hit a mine, though. They couldn't evade all of the mines, apparently. Meanwhile, in the south, the Allies have dominated down there as well now. Did you know, Tiger, yeah, were... that this map also had a center? What? No way. <laughs> it, it's shrouded in mystery and fog. <laughs> it definitely has it. Oh, there goes the mud to the bazooka teams down the bottom here. It's a cheeky weasel from Pabuti getting out the back, decapping the field. <laughs> wow. Superior allied what? ordinance leads the way. They've got an arsenal of toys. But look at this from the Axis. They're somehow managing to get back into things in the north. I just worry about naval bombardments from uh, Latouf, is it? No, it's uh, 
Is that Dexen as well? Oh, yeah. we've got to <laughs> see the stats for Dexen at some point. It's going to be insane. Oh. Oh, is he going to go for it? You can click it right now. Oh. Looks like the whirlwind there in the north of his AT gun, Dixon. He's... Oh, struck down the bottom in trouble. Hellcat. Good shout out, Tightrope. That was like an elite CSGO team there. Or CS2 now. It's grim for the Axis. They're going to fight this one to the bitter end. They desperately want to stay in this tournament. Yeah? If they lose this 4v4, they're out of the $4,000 1v1 tournament. Oh, nearly back. That's got a flank from Dex and Sentinel coming around the back. Just, yes! There it is. Has he used naval bombardment at the same time? Yes, he has. Here it comes. Oh, there it comes. And there it goes. <laughs> what a combo. Oh, and just... the centaur. Oh, doesn't quite get out alive. So close, though. He's trying to block him in. <laughs> nice. Nice work from Latouf there. Yeah, the Axis are trying to claw back into this one. Tooth and nail. Daniel D has played admirably to keep a lot of the north. Well, get out the back here. Maybe going after the Werbel? No. Now we finally see some action in the middle, by the way. I mean, what? No, didn't it's untouched. It possible. It's pristine virgin land, this is. Oh, no, not anymore. Oh, dear. Bulldozers in there making a mess of it. <laughs> so Rex is kind of giving up on the bottom. I think this makes sense. But yeah. it might have been too late. Yeah, they've, they've fought for that victory point. They've got it. It was a surprise sneak attack. But it's much too late. The, center, the northern victory point's in allied hands right now. They're ticking down. Centaurs are going to town here. All this infantry in major trouble in the north. Oh, is that three squad whites? Well played to Eris, Daniel D, Momo, and Treads. Getting this far. And we're going to finish with that's right, a bombardment. fitting way to end our 4v4 journey for this tournament tightrope, I feel. Yep. Let's Not as much carbon bombing in this one, though, I will say. No. Let's check the stats now before the um, inflation as they play with AFK. Um, I want to see Daniel D's damage dealt. Look at that. 14,000. Um, not Daniel D. I meant, uh, of course, I meant Dexon, didn't I? Yeah, sorry. My bad. It's KD is the best bit. 72 to 35. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, somehow for beauty, though. He also had a blinder. Yeah, he did. Seemingly, yeah. He was an unsung hero, it seems. Ooh, that's a 3 KD tightrope. That's fantastic. Yeah. Let's see the dingo efficiency. That's what we all want to know. That's the... Let's go vehicle. Dingo. Oh, it wasn't as amazing as I thought. Is that the right one? I can't Two tell. Vehicle with these kills. Things. I feel like I had three vehicle kills. Maybe something else got with small oh, arms. Oh, that's, that's not. That's not on. That's not what we want to see. But yeah, that was a cracking best of three. Really enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, guys. I've uh, really appreciated uh, having Tightrope here today. Thank you, Tightrope. Let's Thank give. You. Give him another shout out. Make sure you follow him on Twitch, please. And also subscribe to him on YouTube. Big shout out to Imperial Dane earlier, who also helped me out. Um, also shout out to Stern Panther for refereeing today. Uh, thanks to Relic and Sega for, of course, um, sponsoring this and giving the players their money, which is bloody brilliant. Big thanks uh, to them. Um, 
thanks to everybody for watching. It's been a laugh, right? We've got 440 viewers, which we haven't done for a long time. And, um, yeah, thanks, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow from 2 p.m. GMT. Oh, okay. There's a final carpet bombing run. That kills a lot. I was about to finish Dexent. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll, we'll we'll trust Dexen, I guess. Let's just uh, let's just play it out with a final carpet bombing. Oh, I see. Is this one here? Jibber. Is this one? This is to finish the stream, everybody. Here it comes. It's all the way back here. Something gonna back into it, maybe. Tomorrow, AI units going here. Yeah, thank you, Dixon. A big thank you to Tyra for protecting his brother Momo's uh, reputation by saying <laughs> AI unit. <laughs> that's true. You could see it down the road. No, yeah, yeah, it's true. Momo would never lose a unit, ever. <laughs> well played, guys. And thanks for watching, everybody. Um, okay, let's raid Elpern, and we'll see you again tomorrow from 2. PM GMT, thank you.